Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to reveal to you the three things that you need to find your voice. Sorry, like if you think this is about you lost your voice and now you need to find it and you have laryngitis or something like that, this is not like a home remedy thing. This is something completely different. I should have, okay, let me... I'm gonna show you the three things you need to find your voice as a writer. Oh, that was so easy. Why didn't I just start with that? Everybody can write, okay? If, if you know the language that you know, you can write. Even if you don't know how to write, even if like you are illiterate, you know how to tell a story because our lives are filled with story. And whenever you need to recount an event, the more you work on that, the better you will get at telling stories. Because whether you are a writer, a poet, a painter, a sculptor, whatever, you're a storyteller. You are using a medium to convey an emotion through something or another. You're taking someone on a journey. You're telling them a story. All right? Now, in order for us to be able to stand out, in order for us to be unique as storytellers, we have to find our voice. And voice is something that you really see a lot of writers struggle with. Have you ever picked up a book or whatever, you're reading a book, and the the story itself is interesting, but it's boring to you? Nine times out of ten, that's going to be because the author has no voice. Like, they don't know who their storytelling self is. You're going to find this a lot in young writers... Or, and when I mean young, I don't mean age. I mean how long they've been writing. You're going to see this a lot in self-publishing, which is why a lot of people talk shit on self-publishing. But you have to understand, too, that the reason that is is because a lot of self-published authors start off as self-published authors. And there's nothing fucking wrong with that at all. So the first thing that you're going to need to be able to find your voice is experience okay your experience through your life every experience you've had from how you were brought up to how school went for you to how you like your eggs in the morning all of these things shape who you are all of these things shaping who you are turns you into a snowflake and i don't mean like the kind of people who like like uh don't yell at me Uh, i mean like completely unique no one in the world has had the same life experiences as you you are the only you there is you are uniquely you like there's a reason why that saying or that phrase is out there because you are the only person who has lived life like you who has gone through the trials you have gone through who has had the ups and who has had the downs that you have had so right off the bat that makes you totally unique and that alone should give you enough be able to tell a story to write a poem to write a novel for fuck's sake and have someone reading it go oh this is totally blah 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 like your name here okay two the second thing you need to be able to find your voice and that is perception okay how you perceive the events around you how you look at something let me give you an example i'm gonna start just grabbing stuff so this right here what is this first thought that came to your mind boom some of you might say cigarettes some of you might say a box 
Some of you might say a rectangle. Some of you might say smokes. Some of you might say a camel. So right there, a bunch of us had different ways of describing that thing. Okay? I'm looking around and everything around me is a fucking rectangle right now. So I can't fucking do this anymore. <laughs> oh my god. The way we perceive events is going to be different. And I've said this so many times and I'm bored of hearing it myself just because like I keep I have to come up with a better analogy is all I'm going to say. But if you put five people out on the street and they witness a car accident, and then the cop comes up and starts asking each person individually what happened. They're all going to describe the car accident. But each person is going to describe it in a different way. Because different things trigger our memory response when we see things. Okay? So, and this is why also when cops do this kind of shit... And they'll ask a bunch of people. One person will say, yeah, so the green car hit the black car and blah, blah, blah. And then the next person will go, yeah, the blue car hit the black car and blah, 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 blah. Because the colors of the cars don't matter as much as what happened next. So one person might go, yeah, the car like flew through the red light and just the brakes were like, like just so loud it was like hurting my ears and the other person will say yeah um it looked like the guy was speeding um i wasn't exactly sure um but the crash sounded so loud it was just like hurting my ears and the cop might say did you hear tires screeching and they might go well uh, yeah, but like the crash was really loud. But the first person already said that the screeching was so loud. It was like, do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like we perceive things differently. So in taking your life experiences and then mixing them with how you perceive the world, how you see things, you know, whether it is like, when you think of the ocean, do you think of it as being wet? Do you think of it as being vast? Do you think of it as being scary? Do you think of it as being freeing? Like, what words come to mind when you think of certain things? And do this as an exercise. Like, ask the people around you. Like, think of something. Think of the sky. And what words come to your mind when you think of the sky? And then ask somebody else just to see how different their answers are. Because, I mean, some will overlap, but you're going to get different answers. And the words you pick to describe a lot of the things around you that are just normal stuff, you'll be able to see what kind of tone you will carry as a writer from your voice. Okay? D does this make sense right now? So then, the like, because normally I just say you need two things. You need experience and perspective. But in thinking about it before I started this video, I'm like, dude, there is another one. There, There is one more fucking thing that you fucking need in order to make this work. And I think this is the one where almost everybody fucking fails. And which is why so many writers sound exactly alike. And the third is honesty. Okay? You need to be honest when you're writing. Even if you're writing fiction, you need to be honest when you're writing. Honest with yourself when you're writing. Because what a lot of people tend to do is like they'll get right to the edge of being like 100% completely open when they're writing. And then they pull back a little bit. And then when they pull back, they start sounding safe. When you start sounding safe, you start sounding like every other motherfucker out there. All right, because here's the thing that a lot of people don't get. When you read author A's work, okay, to you, you're just reading a story. It's fine, it's good, it's whatever. To the author, they like poured their guts out, okay? You as a reader might know, you might get the impression the feeling 
that what they put on paper is honest. Okay? But there's going to come other times when you read, like, author B, and the book is just as long, the story is the same genre, it almost even follows the same pattern, but there's just something missing. There's just something that's not there. And what that is, is the author playing it safe and not being honest, not being open, not trusting their their soul when they're fucking writing. So if you have experience, which everyone does, because you woke up today and you're watching this video, if you have your own perspective, which everyone does, if they just allow themselves to ask these questions, like, what do I think of when blah? And then finally, being fucking honest when you write. Do not hold back. If you ever think when you're typing, if you're or writing, like you're writing something like, ooh, shit, maybe I shouldn't talk about that. You should talk about that, okay? Because that was coming out, and then you stifle it. It's like you're going like this to yourself. You're, you're throwing yourself a screen. You see what I'm saying? So, if you found this helpful, crack them thumbs, click the join button down below, join the Anarchy Crew, and get all sorts of fun stuff. Type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video, and if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.